<sighs> Sorry if this is a little shaky. I forgot to bring my stabilizing monopod with me. Slash mini tripod. <sighs> it is sunset right now. But anyways, I was actually out scouting locations for this vlog and I don't think this is going to be feasible. I found another location for the east and I figured out what I want that to be about. But welcome to my back, welcome back to my channel 4.5. I'm going to go get some rest now. So very good night everybody and we will see you tomorrow in the morning. To get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Well, good morning everybody Um... It is a little, this is a little bit of a different, oh uh, yeah, this is nice, I believe this is the studio that I'm at, it is different from like all the past four videos, this is pretty much where I film my terms of the week, over the past two weeks, and by the way, uh, just a, a little hint hint nudge nudge, the term of the week at the end of this video is gonna be, um, derived from the previous video, so, um, you gotta stay tuned, but, but we're gonna go somewhere different in today's video and I can't wait to show you what this is. So this is pretty much part three of this conference of tour of the region. So with that said, let's get started. Alright, our first stop is actually at the car wash because this car needs to be cleaned. Alright.
guys at their next stop. But before we do anything, we got to vacuum the car. We gotta vacuum the car now. I didn't hear that, but I'm in a new place. Uh, this is millennia. It's a new community. I'm going to be doing some shopping. But no, well, more like browsing. There's four stores here. There's a Ross Dress for Less. There's another store up here. There's a Home Goods back there, and there's also a World Market. Before I get into detail about that, show you guys a few of the areas. Oh, there's the Alexon. That's an uh, apartment complex. Another apartment complex called Pulse is also nearby. This is just the Millennia Square, I think, with all the other areas. Go down a little bit because there's a few more houses that I want you to see, and then we're gonna do some shopping. This is a close up of the Iris Hotel. Somewhere over here is where they're supposed to have an office complex. Well, not office, more of a research facility. <laughs> then we're going to stop over here and turn around. As you can see, this is just some of the land that's still open fields. Fun fact, once upon a time, all the way in 2010, this area was just open fields. Nothing happened. There was just a big sign that said future sites, and here it is today. Now I'm going to turn around here at this light. So you guys can see it. There's the other townhomes down here. These are all townhomes. So people looking into the houses that are not million dollar homes. This is as close as you can get. I don't know how many bitcoins this could be. Like And up here, that is the Riviera townhomes. Riviera townhomes are over there. Or it was the Rivera. I keep mistaking the two. Like, um, well, first off, Brent Rivera has nothing to do with this. First of all. And second of all, there's some more homes under construction. And last thing, there's another fire station going up. Stage number 10. And that's going commission um, come springtime. You're still working to put all the finishing touches on there. And then there's the back side of that hotel I just mentioned. Okay, let's go back to the town center and do our shopping. I'm kind of decided to put this out there because I've done very few videos within this area. The last one I did was like about a year ago. Millennia is served by a bus rapid transit route and that's it. Maybe I'll show you guys. 
I think I've shown you guys that last year. Um, there's another card right there or link in the description. Go watch it. It passes through the millennia area. So go watch that. And there's that for you. Let's just do our shopping and then get out of here and then we'll probably go to Starbucks afterwards. There is a Starbucks in this area, so... I did you think of that? There are already school buses over here. I can't believe that. There are already school buses in here. Alright, for real, let's go shopping. It is the next evening now, and thank you guys so much for all uh, the support. We are now at week five. Week number six, I have just gotten a new appliance, uh, and we're going to show that off in week number six. And well, week six would actually be February 1st, which is exactly three days from now. But anyways, now for the term of the week. The term of the week was aspired by last week's video. And it happens to refer to the, the point where the cruise ship actually did activate the emergency alert system. So with that, the term of the week this week is muster. Not mustard, the other pronounceable terminology. This term exclusively refers to maritime transportation on megaships. And they have similar meanings to each other. The first one, another term for an assembly point on a cruise ship or on an ocean liner. This is where people go from their staterooms if any kind of emergency arises. It's also another name for an evacuation drill that takes place before departing on a cruise. It usually takes place half an hour before it leaves the origin port for all the cruise destinations. And finally, it refers to taking a roll call of all passengers and crew on board. And a rare application of this term, a group of peacocks. What? I just looked this up on Google, but... There you go. The four definitions of that term. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video.